Paul, Apostle of Christ, premieres nationwide on Friday, March 23rd. It transports us from our comfortable 21st century lives to a time when following Jesus could cost you your life. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. You have to admit there's a disconnect between our modern lives and the first century. Even today, when we consider ancient Rome, we're more inclined to think of marching armies with shiny armor and capes than the underside of Caesar's world. This movie concentrates on that underside. I mean, it really concentrates on it, using melancholy music, gritty photography, and shocking sights. No, not enough to earn an R rating, but we kind of see Christians turned into torches, a woman attacked, and a courageous boy dying. But that's how it was in 67 AD when Nero was blaming Christians for a fire that destroyed much of Rome, probably a false flag event. That was the year when Paul was executed. We see him in Mamertine prison throughout the movie, awaiting death. And Luke the physician is a man on a mission, intent on visiting Paul so he can write his words and experiences down before the apostle dies. Luke is played by Jim Caviezel. James Faulkner plays Paul. A continuing theme throughout the movie is the need to show love to our enemies instead of vengeance. It's a disappointment when part of the Christian community opts for violence. Paul and Luke take the other approach. It turns out the Roman official in charge of the prison is facing a family crisis. His teenage daughter is dying. The man and his wife pray to many of the Roman gods without results. There is one scene in particular where you see an idol, an altar, and plenty of candles. It's ironic that when Paul and Luke are ministering to the girl, fellow Christians are being slaughtered that very day in one of Nero's circuses. The prison official gains respect and appreciation for Paul, then turns around and presides over his execution. Despite all the good in the film, I must say it was a little dark for me. Perhaps I'm spoiled, but I've seen people worship, I mean really worship God, when going through a crisis. It seems the best the Christian community could do in this movie was to recite the Lord's Prayer in unison, nothing spontaneous from the heart. The Jesus they believed in was more remote than the one I know. I wish the movie featured more joy in spite of suffering. If you go out and see Paul, Apostle of Christ, it will challenge your worldview. But don't stop there. Consider the film's strengths and limitations. And use this as a jumping-off point as you think about how these issues affect your own life. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.